Welcome Wildlings, Colin Stucker here, founder CEO. Today's video is all about matcha, green tea matcha powder, specifically wild matcha, which we source directly from a car farm in Japan. We have a great relationship with the, the farm. Uh, in fact, these guys actually flew into Austin to meet me and give me a gift, which is really cool. And it's kind of a funny story because I thought they were just maybe stopping through town for something else and they want to just like meet up with me to get to meet me or whatever which is cool and i almost blew them off i almost had something else to do or i didn't feel like driving i don't remember what the story was but i almost canceled on them and so i eventually made a point and and i showed up and you know we chatted for a bit and then i realized that they were actually flying i believe it was cross country from la to new york or new york to, L to la and they they stopped specifically in austin to see me and give me, they gave me this matcha bowl and get matcha bowl and gift, and then talk about other products we could maybe launch, and it was really cool. And that's kind of something that you see a lot in, in Asian and Japanese culture, uh, especially in business. Like they do a lot of gift giving. They're very much about the relationships you have. Uh, you know, your business relationships are as important as personal relationships in a lot of instances. And so it was really cool that they did that. And I'm just really glad I didn't cancel on them. Uh, so wild matcha green tea powder is very unique because it's actually the whole leaf that is ground into this fine powder here. And that's why you get this luscious green. It's also why you get so much more nutrition out of matcha compared to regular green tea. So regular green tea, you take tea leaves and you add hot water and you infuse the liquid out of the tea leaves. Then you remove the tea leaves and you drink just the liquid. So you don't get as much extraction of the actual raw nutrients as you do with matcha. Because with matcha, like for right here, we, we're putting the entire tea leaf into the beverage and making something like this, like matcha. And so that's why they say it's about equal as drinking 10 glasses of regular brew tea in nutritional value. Now, there's obviously a lot of nutrition. There's l theane There's a little bit of caffeine in this, but it's a very steady, slow release of caffeine compared to something like coffee, which tends to bring you up and bring you down. So this is a really great thing for like pre-workout, midday. Um, obviously, you can start your mornings with it. You can do this instead of coffee if you're trying to wean off caffeine a little bit. And you can make straight straight lattes. You can make uh, like just a straight matcha and hot water. This had cocoa butter in it, a little bit of MCT, and you blend it up into this nice frothy drink. Same thing right here. Then you can even do things like matcha lattes where you use like a nut milk or even though we don't really recommend cream, you can, you know, a lot of matcha lattes are made with cream. And then the ones at the store are loaded with sugar, so definitely do not buy a matcha latte at most coffee shops or at Starbucks. Instead, get some wild matcha yourself and make it yourself at home. So the only ingredient in this is organic matcha green tea powder from Japan. It comes from a directly from the farm, so single origin, single farm. And you can read through some of the awesome benefits, of, you know, about it being a natural fat burner, metabolism enhancer, you know, natural mood and, and energy enhancer. Uh, and obviously, you can just Google, you know, matcha benefits, and you'll have a lot of things come up because it is a very, it is a very popular product that's been growing in popularity over here. And it's just a really, really great ingredient. It's something that I, I, I like to mix it up sometimes when I'm having a lot of coffee. I like to mix it up with this. Or what I like to do with it actually for pre-workout because I don't, I don't take pre-workouts anymore. And I don't even typically do coffee. I pretty much do nothing. And I think that's really the best for most people. But if you want a little bit of a pick-me-up, take a half teaspoon or even a fourth teaspoon of matcha throw in a shaker bottle, add ice, a dash of lemon, and if you really have to, like maybe a little bit of stevia to sweeten it up or monk fruit, um, but that's not even really necessary. You basically shake it up and drink that as a pre-workout. It's awesome, it's so good. Matcha videos, we got some videos in here, we got some recipes, we got a bunch of recipes right there. Matcha, in, in fact, you can bake with it a lot. That's something most people don't realize. You can do a lot of bake baking, you can do obviously a ton of drink recipes, etc. Some of the FAQs for matcha. And it's just an awesome product. So I highly recommend you trying it at least once. And if you know anyone that, that uh, is a matcha fanatic, maybe consider this as a gift. Uh, we are, take a lot of pride in our matcha. We get it directly from the farm. We have a great relationship with them. And you know the matcha connoisseur that is in your life might, will probably enjoy it as well. So you can get a bag at wildfoods.co. If you have any questions or comments, you can always shoot us an email at info at wildfoods.co. And if you have any questions or comments, I already just said that, but again, I'll say it again. You can shoot us an email at info at wildfoods.co or drop us a comment below wherever you see this video posted. My name is Colin Stuckard and I approve this message. Thanks for watching.